Some news this morning out of the Vatican. Pope Benedict is set to publish a historic letter addressing and apologizing for Roman Catholic priests who've sexually abused children. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is in London this morning with the story. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Maggie. Well, the papal letter of apology is the latest effort to save the Catholic Church from a scandal that's threatening to become a plague of biblical proportions. Even Benedict has admitted that the church has been, as he put it, severely shaken. My hope is that it will help in the process of repentance, healing, and renewal. The letter will be released tomorrow, but seems unlikely to assuage the anger of victims in parishes ranging from the U.S. to Ireland, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, Germany, and Brazil. I don't think a pastoral letter is the proper context in which to respond to a report about the cover-up of the rape of children. Government-ordered inquiries in Ireland have documented cases of abuses and cover-ups between the 1930s and the 1990s that involved more than 15,000 children. Children were sworn to secrecy, having made allegations against a priest, and subsequently that priest was allowed to carry on being a priest. In fact, the practice of protecting offending priests at the expense of the victims involved even the Pope himself. When he was an archbishop in Germany, at least one known offender was moved from one parish to another. German bishops have now recommended what they termed a compulsory registration of suspected sexual and physical abuse cases to state prosecutors. I don't want to blame the Pope, Archbishop Reinhard Marx said. We as bishops have the responsibility in our diocese. Be that as it may, what really matters is how far the Pope will actually go to righting a massive wrong that just seems to keep on spreading. Maggie? Alan Pizzi in London Force this morning. Thanks a lot, Alan. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.